It is shop day once again on Tea and Tobacco. What's up, my name is Eric, and today I'm going to show you how I made this segmented pen out of three different types of wood. So let's get to that. So quick introduction here, I made this pen out of 22 different pieces of wood. It is three species of wood. It's Chechen, which is the brown, and then yellow heart and bloodwood, which you can probably tell by the names what the colors are supposed to be, yellow and red. And this is actually using the Slimline Pro Click, which I like a lot better than the normal Slimline because it has a Parker refill, which you can get anywhere. And there's some really high quality ones. I think Schmidt is one of the, the high quality ones. You can find them at Staples. So it's not, not hard to find refills for this. So it's pretty nice. So let's get into showing you how I made it. If you would like to support this channel, you can check me out on Patreon and follow me on various social medias that are showing up in the corner. So let's get to this. So the first thing I had to do was I took strips of one by one of each of the woods that I was using and cut little segments out, just little flat pieces. And then I had to sand them so they were perfectly flat because the scroll saw was a little off kilter. And then I did a glue up. Obviously it's not the prettiest glue up in the world, but it gets the job done. And then I sanded the glue up flat after it was dry so it would be a little more square so when i put it into my chuck right here to drill it it would actually turn relatively center across the axis of the blank so this wasn't a big deal i believe this is a eight millimeter kit so i'm using a 5 16th bit right here so that is what i'm doing and then what you have to do is you glue in a brass tube. So I'm just putting some medium super glue onto it. And then I'm working it into the center of the blank that I just drilled out. And I work it in one side and then put it in through the other side. So the glue is evenly distributed throughout the entire blank. The next thing you have to do is relative to that tube that I just put in, I am squaring the edge relative to the tube. So it sits perfectly against the end of the bushings, which you put on the pen mandrel. So as you can see right here, I'm inserting that bushing into the end of the pen and that's going to hold it steady. Also that bushing, basically as a reference to how far down you actually have to turn it. So you see the bushing over there on the right hand side. I have to turn the end down to that because that is the diameter of the nib of the pen. Uh, in this case, both sides, the nib and the side the mechanism is on is exactly the same size. So it doesn't matter which one you put where. But in this case, as you can see, I have three larger segments on the right hand side. And I wanted that to be the grip side, though this is a symmetrical piece. So I just, I just worked it as a symmetrical piece, but I did plan on putting the three big pieces on the nib side, on the writing side that you use. So here I'm just using a square carbide bit to kind of rough it out and turn it down into a, into a cylinder. And then to finish it up so I don't bring it all the way down, I get a round carbide bit and this is going to do the finishing work so I can bring it all the way down to the uh, size of the bushings and do my final passes before I move on and then next you have to hit it with sandpaper so I do various grits I go from 80 to 150 to 220 and then 400 here I'm making sure to do the left and right to get out the marks as well and then lastly here, I am cleaning it up. This is always my favorite step, just cleaning it up to get all the dust out of the crevices and get it off the blank to see what you're actually working with. Here I am using mineral spirits. Uh, I'll probably switch to just using a denatured alcohol in the future. But as you can see, it makes it pop really nicely. And then my finish, what I am using, I am using a combination of boiled linseed oil and super glue. So here I am just applying the boiled linseed oil and then right on top of where I had the boiled linseed oil on my 
rag is, well, this is actually a shop paper towel. So it, it's not going to get caught up and, and pull my hand into it. So I'll put the super glue right on top of where the boiled linseed oil was. And this kind of acts as a bit of a catalyst, but also a bit of a lubricant. So it spreads nice and even. So for the most part, I don't even have to bother doing any sanding with this finish afterwards because it looks really good by itself. Um, but for some reason this time, it just didn't come out exactly how I wanted it. I think just kind of how the grain structure was in this particular pen, it just soaked up and soaked up and soaked up. I probably could have just taken it slower and taken more time between coats and that actually might have solve my problem a little bit but it did come out pretty well but i did have it just turned out a little flatter than i wanted it to so here i am all done here are all the parts first i put in the part where the nib screws onto so these are pretty much all pressure fitted they're very tight so i'm using a bar clamp with a squeeze trigger i guess you want to call that so you can get pen presses that are you know, specifically designed for this, but I find that's just fine. Um, normally this pen comes with a band in the middle. So what I actually did, I cut off a piece of the band that actually fits down in, and I am now pressing that in, in front of the click mechanism, because normally the click mechanism will ride on the insert that actually goes in the middle. But since I don't have the insert in the middle, I just cut off the piece that inserts down into the tube. So now it is in front of the click mechanism down in the middle of the pen. So now that is fitted in there and the click mechanism is riding on that little piece that I cut off. So now it's not going to move. If you didn't have that in there and you push the click mechanism, it could slide around inside the tube and obviously you don't want it moving or it's not going to click correctly. As you can see, it's currently depressed still because I haven't put a, there's no tension pushing back against it. So here I'm inserting the ink refill and putting on the nib with the spring. And that is pretty much all you have to it. And now I can press it as it pushes back against and the pen, the click mechanism will release and it works just good, just fine. And then I pull off of the little wax uh, that is on the end of the end of the ballpoint to be able to use it. So there you go, here's the, the final pen. I'll put some still photos in here for you to see. The finish is not as shiny as I was hoping it would be. I've been trying to experiment with some other finishes and this is kind of flat, but it is nice and smooth and it's not like, it's not like glass shiny, but it is nice and smooth. So it's got a good feel and everything. The click mechanism with the modification that I made is really nice. So I don't have that problem and uh, like I said, this takes the Parker refills, so you just need to screw off the end and then put in a new refill. This is, happens to be the gel ink, but you've probably seen the, the regular inserts for this one as well. So it just takes the regular Parker inserts. And uh, yeah, it's a really nice pen, so I'm a big fan of how this came out. This is going to be my personal pen because the finish just isn't exactly how I want it. But if you would like a pen of your own made by me or an ashtray or there's probably more stuff that's going to be coming out soon. You can shoot me an email or a message on all my various social medias that you can see up in the corner and also uh, I'll be setting up an Etsy site so check in the link down below, check in the description to see if there's a link to an Etsy site or whatever site I decide to use. Uh, so you could go through there as well. But if you message me directly, it does save a little bit of money for both of us. So that is a way to go as well. So thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to like and subscribe, comment, question, feedback down below. Follow all my various social medias that are showing on the screen. You can support me on Patreon as well. If you uh, want to get a pen, you can also support me that way as well. And check out the videos that are showing up on the side. And I will see you next time on Tea and Tobacco. See you guys.